Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, I had a voice radio. So today, I am showing you a very exciting new card from the upcoming Burning Shadows expansion. It is the very first time on this channel that we've ever talked about Crabominable. It's a pretty cool name Pokemon while we're here. Now it is a fighting Pokemon, which means you're hitting weakness against Drampa and Darkrai, which is good now and is only going to get better in the future. He does have a weakness to Psychic, which is a bit of a pain with Garbodor running around. But as we're going to see in a minute, you should be able to trade KOs with Garbodor, so it might not be the worst thing ever. A retreat of four is very expensive, but does mean you can use Heavy Ball. So it's not the end of the world. And 140 HP is actually a very good HP for a stage 1. It's more than Garchomp has. And he's a stage 2. Although do remember that in Burning Shadows we're getting the tool card Muscle Dumbbells. Which will give Crabominable an extra 40 HP. And do remember that we've also got Choice Band. And if you're using Muscle Dumbbells, you're not going to be able to use Choice Band. I leave it in your capable hand, ladies and gentlemen. Now, being a fighting Pokemon, Crabominable has a whole bunch of toys. He's got Strong Energy, the special energy that does an extra 20 damage to all of your attacks. We've got Regirock, the Pokemon EX, where when he's sitting on the bench, you do an extra 10 damage for all of your attacks. And don't forget, of course, that this stack, so 4 Regirock means an extra 40 damage. And Brooklet Hill. This allows you once per turn to search your deck for a water or a fighting Pokemon and pop it down on your bench. Well, the good news is that Crabrawler, from whom Crabominable evolves, is a fighting type, which means Brooklet Hill is here, ladies and gentlemen. It's here to hook you up. And actually, there's some other Pokemon we want to talk about in a minute that you could use this for as well. Now, the headline attack here for Crabominable is the attack that does 80 damage for a single energy and then does damage to itself equal to the number of damage counters on him now 80 for one energy is awesome but of course we've got strong energy so it's not really 80 for one energy it's a hundred for one energy now if you're against one of these fighting weak exes and gxs like Darkrai or drampa you are going to be getting a one hit ko straight away but then, of course, you can use Professor Kakui to do 120, or you can use Choice Band to do 130 to EXs or GXs, and even though Shaman is resistant, 130 will then be enough, or you can use both Professor Kakui and Choice Band to do 150. And then don't forget that you could play more than one Strong Energy, and then you could bring in Regirock, so you could actually be hitting more than 150, but then you've got to have Regirock on your bench, and you've got to have more than one strong energy on Crabominable. And of course, let's not forget that one of the main selling points of Crabominable, it's a hard name to say many times, I feel like a couple times I might be butchering the pronunciation, so um, yeah, I am trying my very best. One of the main selling points of him is that he's attacking for a single energy, so you really don't want to be having to pile a whole bunch of extra strong energy to do extra damage, kind of goes against the point. And I'm thinking here about Max Potion. Max Potion is beautiful here, because the problem is that when Crabominable starts getting hit, he is going to keep being hit harder and harder every turn. Your opponent does 40 damage, will then... The next turn, you do 40 damage to yourself when you attack and you're on 80. And then they do 40 damage and put you up to 120. And then you do 120 to yourself. To put it another way, if Crabominable has 70 damage or more on him when he attacks, he's going to KO himself. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we're playing Max Potion. You attack for one strong energy... Then you max potion so that every turn you are attacking with zero damage on you, so you're not adding to it. And 140 HP is still quite high. Now, I mentioned Regirock, and I think Regirock deserves to actually be spoken about a little bit. Regirock does an extra 10 damage and can easily be grabbed out using either Heavy Ball or Brooklet Hill, both of which we may well be using in this deck. Especially Brooklet Hill combos brilliantly with this. Here's the problem, though. 
he's got a very large retreat cost, which means your opponent could well play Lysander to bring him up into the active and buy themselves a turn or two to set up. And, of course... Whereas in the past you could just stash a floatstone on Red Giroc and you're good to go, that's not the case here unfortunately anymore because Field Blower now comes around and gets rid of all those floatstones before you get the benefit of them. And, and I cannot state this point strongly enough, Red Giroc gives up two prizes. That means that your opponent can jump ahead in the prize race. And that's kind of the whole point of playing Crabominable. You are using a single prize attacker who's a stage one and attacks for one energy. You've got speed and consistency on your side. You can afford to give up a single prize Pokemon every turn because you're taking single prizes yourself and occasionally jumping in and taking an EXKO. If you've got three or four Regirock sitting on your bench, then your opponent can just keep Lysandering up Regirock and then maybe take out two Crabominable, two Regirock and win the game that way. Regirock is a huge risk. Be very, very careful about using him. And honestly, if you do end up playing Regirock, consider playing something like Ninja Boy to get rid of that Regirock. Now, against non-EX, non-GX Pokemon, this is looking pretty good. So, Garbodor's got 120 HP. You're doing 100 for a strong energy. Playing a second strong energy would work, but then you're really having a take two turns to set up each Grabominable, and then you're falling behind a little bit in terms of speed and consistency. But you could certainly play a Professor Kukui every turn, and that would work very nicely indeed. You could also play two Regirock, but remember my warning about Regirock. Against EX and GX heavy decks, well, if they're weak like Drampa, you're getting a one-hit KO, or if they're just small like Shaman... But you're doing 130 damage for one energy as long as it's a strong energy and you're playing a choice band. That means you're basically two hit KOing EXs and GXs, even the big 250 HP ones, and that's okay, because if you're two hit KOing for two prizes and they're one hit KOing for one prize, then you're trading evenly. And that's assuming that you never get a one-hit KO on anything. And that's assuming that they can keep doing 140 damage per turn to always get the one-hit KO. And you could always use a Professor Kukui and four Regirock and hit 190 damage for a single energy. Although, again, Regirock is risky. You could always just play some Regirock in case you need to do the extra damage. But again, play something like Ninja Boy so that if you end up starting with Regirock, you can get rid of him and not leave a two-prize Pokemon on the field. Now, Crabominable, and that is really getting awkward to say over and over again, is very reliant on strong energy. So you're going to need something like Special Charge to recover these. You might even consider playing the card Energy Lotto in order to search them out, because we don't have a great way to search for strong energy in the standard format. Obviously in Expanded we've got Computer Search, but we don't have a great way in Standard, so Energy Lotto could have your back here. You could also play Mallow, just to put them on top of your deck. And that leads me to a Pokemon that I think really could pair quite nicely here. Octillery. You're already playing Brooklet Hill, so you can search out Remoraid really easily. And you've got space in your deck because you're playing with a stage one and you're only needing a few energy here and there. So actually, Octillery here could be really nice. And if you're playing Octillery, Mallow certainly seems like the way to go. And of course, you've always got Puzzle of Time you can use to grab these Pokemon out of your discard. Because of course, you might need the Pokemon like Rabominable. Or you might need your Choice Band, or you might need your Strong Energy. Puzzle of Time doesn't just get you Pokemon, it gets you anything. Now there is a second attack, but we are not going to be dwelling on it, ladies and gentlemen. For free Fighting Energy, it does 80 damage. C can you see the problem here? And then flip two coins, 40 more damage for each head. Rubbish, garbage, overpriced, do not touch it with a barge pole. There is one way Crabominable is good. And it is, you're using Max Potion, so you've constantly got 140 HP, and you're not hurting yourself with your attack. You've got Strong Energy, and you're just doing 100 damage for one energy every turn. Except time you add in things like Choice Band, Professor Kukui, and maybe even 
Red Giroc, you're not doing 100 damage, you're actually doing a fair bit more. Then, of course, we bring in things like Octillery, which combos brilliantly with Brooklet Hill. This deck starts to make itself, maybe I'm going a bit overboard, but I'm giving Crabominable four Wassies. Be careful using Red Giroc, consider using Octillery. I really, really like this card, ladies and gentlemen, and I think you should be taking it seriously. But if you disagree with me, well, that's what the comment section is there for. Go nuts, be nice. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and the most important thing as always, look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.